question number 96 the unicellular organisms like euglena amoeba mycoplasma and plasmodium do not have cell wall but Whittaker's system of classification placed mycoplasma in different kingdom from the kingdom in which rest of the four are placed now one of the reasons behind this is that mycoplasma are this is interesting question where it is asked that euglena amoeba mycoplasma and plasmodium they do not have cell wall so all four of them they do not have cell wall but the mycoplasma is placed in the different kingdom in which the rest of the three organisms are placed so one of the reason behind this is because mycoplasma it is prokaryotic and rest of them are eukaryotic euglena euglenoids amoeba it's a protozoan plasmodium protozoan so all are eukaryotic so the reason is that mycoplasma is prokaryotic yes mycoplasma is parasitic no plasmodium is also parasitic smallest living cells no it is no doubt that mycoplasma is the smallest living cell but it is placed in the different kingdom because it is prokaryotic fourth one anaerobic organism no so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's move to the next question question number 97 match the following columns and select the correct option in the column one there are some names given and in the column two their features are given column one a trichoderma it is the fungus imperfect why because it lacks sexual stage it belongs to the class deuteromycetes so a matches with fourth option number two and three are ruled out ostilago ostilago it is a member of basidiomycetes where karyogamy and meiosis take place in basidium so b matches with first option number one is also ruled out now a fourth b first c should be third neurospora it's a sac fungus means member of ascomycetes here sexual spores are ascospores yes it is true so c matches with third and d with the second that albugo is a parasite on mustard yes it is also true so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question Question number 98, the causal agent of bovine spongiform encephalopathy, what is the causal agent of BSE? It is the prions. So prions, they are infectious proteinaceous particles. They are devoid of any genetic material and they cause bovine spongiform encephalopathy, med cow disease. So it has RNA as the genetic material? No. It is similar in structure and function to viruses. No. Third one does not contain any nucleic acid. Yes, it is true because it is only proteinaceous. Fourth one is enveloped with phospholipid membrane. No. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's see the next question. Question number 99. Algene and carrageen are respectively obtained from. Algene and carrageen both are hydrocolloids. Algene is obtained from brown algae whereas carrageen is obtained from red algae or you can say algene and carrageen are respectively obtained from the members of pheophyce and rhodophyce. Now see the options brown algae and red algae. Yes, it is true. Members of chlorophyce and rhodophyce. No, because chlorophyce it's a green algae so this option is incorrect third one green algae and brown algae no red algae and green algae no green algae do not have hydrocolloids they lack hydrocolloids so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's see the next question question number 100 select the set of organisms in which flagellated gametes are not formed so you have to select the organisms in which flagellated stages are absent or the flagellated gametes are absent. First option, Eulotrix volvox spirogyra. Volvox, it is a colonial alga. It has flagellated gametes. So this option is ruled out. 
third one sargassum fucus eulotrix sargassum brown alga it has flagellated gametes fourth option slime mold cara clematomonas clematomonas it produces motile gametes or the flagellated gametes now second one porphyra gelidium spirogyra spirogyra it has non flagellated gametes porphyra and gelidium both are red algae and in red algae the motile stages are absent so porphyra gelidium and spirogyra they produce non flagellated gametes so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's see the next question <laughs> 